So, what I'm gonna do today is I will be reacting to the Xbox Partner review, which was um. Uh, which happened 19 hours ago as you can as you see on the videos let's not waste any more time and check out the xbox partner preview presentation i have to lower the volume just in case all right let's see what you got Uh. Won't you at least tell me what we're doing here? All I know is that it's serious. Assassin's Creed? It's more than serious, Soruna. It is dangerous. Maybe not. It looks like Assassin's Creed, though. Bandai Namco? In my experience, the greatest harm often comes from the best intentions. The cycle is starting again. How many more times... An Assassin's Creed-like game made by Bandai Namco? Or should I say published when by Bandai Namco? To be found. Make one. I s okay, I see some mixing arts right over there. Whoa, what the hell? Wait, did she just possess the the enemies? And then went back in touch. Unknown nine awakening. You've been okay. here before, countless times, and so shall you be here again. In fact, you're here right now. Summer 2024 wishes now on the Xbox. Then again, it's an Xbox presentation, so... Of course, they, it's going to be available on Xbox. Learn how to wield otherworldly skills in the world of Unknown 9 with an in-depth developer update on Xbox Wire. Okay. So that's the first game. Reef Rap Games. got an ex-employer they wish they never worked for. Not everyone's ex-employer set them up to take a fall. All right, now what's that this? So happens they frame the wrong witch. They call me Lady Luck, and every card I draw is lucky. And when I find out what my old coven is up to, they better hmm. hope they have a good hand. Hmm. Oh. Not tonight, boys. Okay. If the coven wants to play, they'll have to play dirty. Slay of hand. A hard boiled third person stealth sim. I'll pass. Because I'll be frank. I suck at stealth. I suck at stealth. Why does that remind me of Returnal? But then again, Returnal is PlayStation. What if was it PlayStation exclusive or Xbox exclusive? Right, I forgot. The then again, I never replayed Returnal with your very own eyes. The, the Altus tells the story of Yandols, okay. a simple miner who survived a crash landing on a hostile planet. He quickly realizes that what was supposed to be a lifetime job opportunity. Yeah, this little schemes uh, minimum 8GB VRAM graphics. We're in the era where 8GB VRAM is the minimum requirement to play this kind of games. Entire team of qualified personnel. They might even lower to 60 B RAM. B RAM. Who knows? Around the deadly scorching star. Escaping the sunrise is crucial for survival. 
Despite his best efforts, Yan simply lacks the time and skills to deal with all these problems on his own. But the planet Yan is stranded on is home to a mysterious substance called Rapidium. With its use and the help of the quantum computer on board, Yan is able to create alternative versions of himself. Okay. The altars. Each one of them is the result of altering a crucial decision from Yan's past. The altars are a reflection of the questions he asks himself. What if I never left my hometown? What if I didn't drop out of college? What if I fought harder to save my marriage? Our altars have the necessary knowledge and skills that we desperately need to succeed. But they also come with their own goals, ambitions and fears, all derived from their different life paths. And that can generate problems. Stop pretending you have any idea how I feel. Incompetence, incoherent decision making, a groundbreaking mission on the verge of failure. Damn, I just hope I don't f everything up again. You want a relationship that lasts, put some effort in it. Each Yan is a different person. It will be extremely difficult to keep everyone happy. You gotta learn how to say no sometimes. But we must do whatever we can, because as the mission goes on, the challenges will only pile up. Hmm. Obstacles on the outside, internal tensions that could prove to be even more dangerous. And with a ticking clock of the deathly sun behind our backs, the only way home is to press forward. Nah, I'm not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it. This is definitely not my cup of tea. This game is definitely not my cup of tea. Alright. What's next? A story co-created by Rihanna Pratchett. EMD ready on Adi. This was captured using the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX. Huh. Oh. But then again, I already jumped shift to NVIDIA, so... Yeah. <laughs> Graphics, though. Then again, this is just Genshin level quality graphics. Nothing high. Nothing high end. Just this is this is mid tier quality um, graphics. Features of. Ava coming twenty twenty four. Next, learn how creatures of Ava places you in the role of. Oh, it's Ava. The first it's pronounced Ava, not Ava. Xbox Wire. Ava. Xbox Wire. Gameplay footage is alpha and subject to change. Ugh. This is Alpha. Really? A nightmare descend upon a grief field. This looks like a horror game.
Oh. Chucky. This is some battle royal stuff over here. It's just that Hi. I'm your I'm friend Chucky. to the end. And I'm your friend to the end. You. <laughs> so it's a new Chucky game. Okay. Oh wait. Green View survived the name Miss Chucky? So wait. Is is it an existing game? Because I have no idea what it's all about. Slay your fan, a uh, new game reveal, okay. It is of Ava. Oh, it's a new game reveal. Oh! Roblox um, reveal is a new expansion and available today. So, it's. DLC? New, batch new patches? I don't know because I never played Roblox. Oh dear. Damn. It's graphics though. In engine footage. <sighs> Did you ever come your bullets before shooting? Now what the hell am I looking at? This? Whoa. I was about to say this, um... Is this related to Alan Wake 2? I might be wrong. This is definitely giving me survival horror vibes. Or it could be a psychological horror game similar as how um, Silent Hill works. Oh dear. What am I looking at? The Sinking City 2? That was the first game? Want to dive deeper into this mystery? Discover more about this. There's a Sinking City one? Xbox Wire interview. How did I not know about there's a first Sinking City? Oh, Square Enix. Oh, shut the hell up. Oh, uh, Final Fantasy 14 coming to Xbox. Because from what I understand, um, all, ever since its release, um, the game is only available on PC, from what I understand. And I believe right now it's, it's available on Xbox consoles as well. We Scions will fight until our last breath. Forward, my friends, for freedom and justice! You do know you're not alone in this, don't you? Darkness and light, despair and hope. As goeth one, so goeth the other. Become light, become hope. Full release on Xbox March 21st. Yep. Game world? Now what? What's this? Is this a new Witcher game or some kind? A cult classic PC series? Oh no. Not. Refined for console? Xbox series by via backward compatibility. So it's a shooting game. Battlefield? No, 
Oh, it's Stalker. Okay. Never heard of this game. Sorry. This is giving me old school Call of Duty Modern Warfare vibes though. Wait, are you telling me there's more than one Stalker game? Stalker Call of Pipian. So, wait. The game takes place at Pipian? No wonder it's giving, it reminds me of um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Because one of the mission takes place in Pripyat. The, the sniper mission. Oh. Available today. Only on Xbox, I guess. Learn how developer GSC Game World brought the cult classic Stalker trilogy to Xbox in an exclusive Xbox Wire interview. Okay. I'm guess it's not. Oh wait, it used to be on PC, right? And now they're bringing it into consoles because this game was originally on PC. Okay. Now what is this game? This time I'm seeing a game where you can pilot a monster truck. Coming 2024. Oh! Persona? Persona T getting a DLC? Episode Ages, yeah, is DLC. Wow. I believe it's been two months since um, Persona 3 was released, and they're getting a DLC already. Wow. The final chapter arrives September. Okay. So that's like what, six months from now? Oh, it's an expression pass. Wait, there are two other S like DLCs? Oh, okay. EGM set. This is definitely the um the 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 OG music. I might be wrong. March twelve. Interesting. So Episode Ages, I believe, is the first um, expansion, story expansion, which will be available in September. Wow. Well, and from what I understand, Persona 3 Reloaded has, has already reached what else um, 1 million copies sold. Congrats. Congrats to them. And I will definitely check out Persona 3 Reloaded sometime later in the future. So, new game reveal is um, The Sinking City. Stalker is a shadow drop game available on the Xbox. Um, Monster Jam Showdown is a new, a new game reveal. Persona 3 Reload um, DLC. Oh, it's available on Game Pass as well. Neat. But then again, I'm a PC user, so. And I do not own an Xbox to top it off. So, let's see what's in the next program. DNF Duel? New character reveal?
Oh, no, 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 no. This is a... A game that takes place in the DNF universe. I think I've seen this... Um, I've seen this before in a previous um, presentation but I forgot which presentation was it at the game or what? it's definitely not in the Xbox presentation I think it's the game awards I think this was announced during the game awards I might be wrong because I have no recollection because I can't really... I remember this was announced last year. But I can't remember which presentation. This is giving me Souls Game 5. I might be, I might be wrong, but the the, the it, it looks like a Souls a Souls game to me. The first Berserker Kazan available on Xbox Series X and S. Kalunga, God of Death, hear my plea. And why, Zhao, have you oh, called me this game, the realm of the living? which was announced the during the um, the Game Awards. I seek my Baba's return in exchange for these spirits. Tales of Kinzera Zhao takes you on a journey through a land enriched with myth and legend, but torn apart by illness and tragedy. Grief is ever present here. From the arid deadlands, the harsh and unforgiving terrain, to the dense and dangerous forest floor of the woodlands, a place laden with mystery and fear. In your arsenal, you carry your late father's masks. The Mask of the Moon, utilized best for crowd control. And the Mask of the Sun. What was the, the chaotic What was the term again? Is it called a platform the game? Mask of the Moon. The Mask of the Sun. You must embrace the dance of the shaman. I think it's called a platform game, right? I... Personally, as well as in the fray of combat. This kind of a for example, take a key to spear. Static um, camera angle. Elements that then your camera moves from, from death to left to right like this. I think it's called a platform a platformer game, game, right? Such as the likes of uh, Mega Man X the Mega Man series, um Metal Slug. They're called platformer games, right? Why me if I'm wrong? We are shamans. Healers in a land long past healing. The complexities of grief inspired the foundations of the world of Kenzera. You will be faced with intricate puzzles, arduous obstacles, and deceptive traps that demand both patience and skill to overcome. And though the path is fraught with adversity, an even fiercer battle rages within you. Mercy is a rare flower that blooms Boss in the hands of Kinzera. But you can do this. I know you can. Tales of Kinzera. Oh, it's, um, it will be available next month. And it's on Windows as well. Eat. 11 Bit Studios presents. Okay, this is definitely not my cup of tea. This is definitely not my cup of tea. Well, at least this game is getting a release date. But like I said, this game is definitely not my cup of tea. Right. Next. What's this? Is this some... Um, 
multiplayer co-op game this definitely streams multiplayer co-op Guide the maiden along the path. Okay. Push the defilement. Is this a brand new game or some kind? Rescue villagers and give them roles. Make preparations before the sun sets. Night time. Okay. Shibazaki. Use your all your resources to fight off the enemy. Okay. Which means this is a... Does it mean it is a single player game? Where you have to fight waves of enemies. Strategically position and fight alongside the villagers. Yeah, this looks like a strategy game. This looks like a strategy game where you have to fight against some um, waves of enemies. And from the look of things, you you prepare a day and then you do and then you battle at night. Because enemies only appear at night from the way I see it. Oh, the purifying ritual, I believe. Because the lady is the um, the maiden, something like a Miko. Oh, boss fight! This has to be a boss. Kunitsugami, Path of the Goddess. This has to be a new IP from Capcom. Learn how Kanitsugami Path of the Goddess mixes action and real-time strategy. Yeah, action. Exclusive Xbox. It's player. an action strategy game. A new IP from um, Capcom. Because I've never heard of Kanitsugami before. That has to be a new IP. I think, and that, I think that's pretty much all of the the games that has been previewed by Xbox partner. Yeah, that's the end of the presentation. Yeah, I think Kunisugami is the one that um, caught my attention the most, along with um, Persona 3 Reload. The presentation itself is not that bad, but nothing mind blowing. It's, a, it's just a, it's another one of those um, 7 out of 10 presentation at most. Well, at least there are a fair few um, games that really caught my... that piqued my interest. I might um, keep an eye out on Kunisugami. And then I would definitely check out um, Persona 3 Reload without a shadow of a doubt. But then again, I haven't, I haven't started playing Persona 5 for you yet. <laughs> I'll, take my, I'll take my sweet time. I'll take my sweet time.